Constraint Settings dialog box. We can control the constraints while we're applying them automatically while we're sketching. To help us control that situation, we go up to our Constraints panel and we go to this button here, which is the constra Constraint Settings dialog box. In the Constraints dialog box, we have three different tabs, General. And this area for constraints is that we'll display the constraints on creation. So we're going to, once we make the constraint, we'll display it. And here's show constraints when it's selected. So we can go up and uh, show a particular constraint if we pick it. We can also display coincident constraints in the sketch. That will be the little uh, boxes on each of the points down in the dimensions. We can edit dimension when it's created. Uh, we can also create the dimensions from the input values. But what happens when we over constrain a sketch? Uh, Inventor doesn't like to be over constrained. You can tell it to over constrain it. In this case, apply the driven dire uh, dimension. In this case, we are going to end up with some uh, reference dimensions. Uh, and that reference dimension then uh, will be put in our drawing or we could have it warn us that it's going to be over constrained so it give us a warning dialog box say hey, you're about to over constrain do you want to do this or not uh, which is I like better so, um, if we go to uh, in interference or inference uh, we can infer constraints so as we're drawing our drawing we can put constraints in if we check the persist constraints that means the constraints will stay on at all times uh, if we don't have this on uh, they go off uh, they go away uh, over here in constraint uh, inference pri priority we can choose to have the parallel in the perpendicular constraints applied first or we could have just a horizontal and verticals so this way uh, we will it'll look at anything that's perpendicular and hor uh, perpendicular and parallel and apply those constraints or we can go with horizontal and vertical and apply those constraints um, uh, this seems to work both of these are good uh, parallel and perpendiculars tend to work more appropriately sometimes selection for constraint inference uh, we can come down here and we can say you know what do we want and all these are turned on by default but you can say hey when I'm drawing or sketching I don't want to have horizontal or vertical lines put in automatically you can uncheck those and it just won't put those constraints in for you um, so uh, it, they kind of build them in this order but you can just say I don't want them on and you can just uncheck them uh, when we go in the relax mode uh, we can enable the relax mode. When we enable the relax mode, that means uh, the constraints are to be removed when we're in the relax dragging. So what is relax? That means we're temporarily turning off constraints. So when we're grabbing a hold of our sketch and we're pulling tugging on it, we are temporarily taking off any constraints we have. And these would be the constraints that we allow to take off. Uh, in this particular case and you can check those on and off if you like so uh, enabling it allows us a temporary uh, uh, not have our constraints for a moment so uh, our constraint settings are uh, located up here in the constraint panel and they allow us to control all the situations of how we uh, control our constraints uh, when we make them on the fly, if you will. So all our constraint settings of how they're handled when we apply our constraints are controlled right here in constraint settings.